Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some of my newest goodies, my first bag of 2022, some accessories, as well as some beauty products. So a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I will also be adding links to everything that I talk about in this video on the description box below if you guys want to check them out. All right, so let's begin with the bag because I know that's the one that I would want to see first. I am super, super excited about it. I have a feeling that some of you might be surprised Although if you do follow me on Instagram, many of you know that I have been talking about on there quite a bit and I was going to hold off on this bag. Uh, I was actually going to put it on my wish list uh, for later on in the, in the year, but then I started to become a little bit more obsessed. I started doing the whole stocking thing that I do on Instagram. I started checking out all of the hashtags for this bag. Then I started looking at more videos and the more and more that I did that, the more and more obsessed I became and I decided to pull the trigger and I could not be happy happier. I am super, super stoked. But my first bag of 2022 is from Balenciaga. Any guesses as to what this might be? I have a feeling that you guys already know. Uh, but I went for the beautiful Balenciaga Neo City bag in the mini size and the color chalky white. I love, love, love this bag. And like I said before, I know that many of you might be surprised because you guys know I normally don't go for bags that are busy. I don't go for bags that have a bunch of bells and whistles. And this has a whole lot going on. This has a whole lot of bells and whistles, but I just could not deny it. I could not deny it. I ended up getting this on Farfetch and they have such an array of colors to pick from. I also have a 10% off coupon code for Farfetch, which I will put right here. Some exclusions do apply. I will put those T's and C's on the description box below as well. But uh, on the website, uh, I saw that they had this beautiful fuchsia, uh, but then I thought, you know, I like the pink, but my eyes kept going for the chalky white. Then they also had this beautiful yellow, uh, and I don't know what it is about yellow, but this year I am like feeling yellow. I mean, I've never really been the biggest fan of yellow, but I don't, yeah, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm like, I need some more yellow in my life. But uh, anywho, uh, I decided against the yellow and I just kept going back to this one and I absolutely love it. This color is, uh, like I said, it's the chalky white and it's in between white and gray, like a light gray. And depending on the lighting, uh, like when I'm outside, it looks a lot more white. When I'm inside, it looks a lot more gray. Uh, and here I have the Coach uh, Tabby Top Handle 20. Uh, just for a reference, this is in the cream white and there you can see that this guy looks a lot more gray. Uh, but like I said, when I'm outside, it just looks a lot more white. I don't know, but uh, it's uh, it's definitely a bit of a chameleon. Uh, but I just think, I think it's beautiful. And I thought, before I got this bag, I thought maybe these tassels would end up driving me crazy. I thought maybe they'd get in the way and I'd want to cut them off. But once I had the bag in my hot little hands, I was like, no, I actually love these tassels. It gives it a little bit, it gives it a little bit of a, of oomph. It gives, I know I say that all the time too. It gives it something different. None of my other bags have this, you know? So I kind of like that. <laughs> actually, I kind of love that. So I, I am so, so excited. All right, so enough chit chat. Let me give you guys a really quick tour of the bag. Like I said, this is the Balenciaga um, Neo City in the mini size. Uh, so on the front, you do have this little working zipper. It's not a faux zipper. And in here, it's not, it's not like too deep. Uh, I might be able to fit my key fob in here, maybe a lipstick or two, not too much more. Uh, but there is a side view. There we go. There's another side view. And then the back part doesn't have any pockets. It doesn't have any feet along the bottom. Uh, but as far as the top, it does have these dual zippers that are like crazy, 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 crazy smooth, which I love. And the bag also comes with a removable, adjustable strap. Now, I know some people can pull this off crossbody. I definitely can't. I put it on crossbody and it was so high up on my, on my chest that... Um, it didn't look so hot. So <laughs> I will be using this either as a longer, uh, as a longer sh uh, shoulder strap, uh, or I will just end up using this bag as a hand carry bag because I really like it this way as well. Uh, but this strap, I love the fact that it does come with a thicker part at the top of the strap. So that way it makes it that much more comfortable. And as you can see, it does have the adjustments there. So I, I think that's awesome. It has a little bit more versatility. And as far as the interior goes, 
I'm dropping stuff. I am dropping stuff. Here are the tags. There are the tags. And on the ends, oh, I have another tag right here. I'm a mess today. <laughs> uh, there is the inside. You have one little slip pocket here, right there, and then there is uh, the main compartment. No other pockets or anything like that. And even though this is a mini size, it's actually, I think it's crazy spacious. Uh, and, I've, and I also thought about going for the Nano, and the Nano is also very deceiving because it's a small bag, but it's crazy the amount of items that you can end up fitting in there. Uh, but I wanted something a little bit bigger and I thought that this was perfect. I mean, look at that. I mean, I've seen videos where people are able to fit their phone, I think three or four small leather goods, plus some lipsticks and you still have room for more, which I think is amazing. So it's small and it definitely ends up packing a punch, but uh, <laughs> I love this color. I it just, it's so different, it's just, I don't know. It has it, ha it has so it has so much going on, but I don't I don't mind it. And I'm actually going to be nicknaming this the Predator because I think that these look like the <laughs> the things from the Predator, obviously from the movie Alien versus Predator or what have you. Uh, so this is my little Predator. I think it is so adorable, small, versatile, but it packs a punch and I am stoked. And once again, here is the color comparison. So the chalky white, and this is just the cream white from the uh, Coach Tabby Top Handle 20. I always have such a hard time saying that name or saying the, that, um, yeah, the name for this bag, but there we go. And there's a, let me give you guys a size comparison on that as well. It's a little bit bigger than the Top Handle 20. So I love it. I love it. I can't wait to start using it. I am stoked. But let me know if this uh, if this purchase surprised some of you guys. I have a feeling that I will also be using that bag quite a bit this year. All right, so I figured, you know what? I don't have any Balenciaga uh, SLGs, and I saw this one on there as well on the Farfetch website, and I decided to go for it. This one I think will also end up surprising you, more so the color, not necessarily the style of the small leather goods. Um, because I don't have anything in my collection that has this color whatsoever. And normally I'm not a fan of this color either. Uh, so I am, I'm surprising myself all over the place. Uh, but here are the, uh, the tags that it came with. And it also came in the little dust bag that says Balenciaga. And I got the multi multi slot card holder zipped card holder in the color orange and this has the croc embossed leather this color is just absolutely beautiful and like i said before normally i don't go for orange i don't have any orange bags or small leather goods or shoes like in my wardrobe in my collection whatsoever but i saw this orange and i was all about it and i really like the fact that it also has the silver hardware I think it's I think it's gorgeous and the orange that you guys are seeing on camera is the exact same color that uh, that it is in real life and I think it is beautiful so uh, on the front side you do have this little zippered hang on it has these little <laughs> it has these little guys as well so you have this little zipper here uh, and I'll be honest with you the zipper isn't it's a lot smaller than the one on the bag uh, so I might be able to fit a stick of gum in there. <laughs> and then on the back side, you have one, two, three, four, five credit card slots right there, as well as another little slip pocket there. And not to mention a zippered compartment at the very top and it opens up like so. So I thought this was absolutely beautiful. Love the color. I was also able to save some cash on this on Farfetch. I think they had orange. I wanna say that they also had pink and maybe black and silver, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on it, but they do have a few that you can end up picking from. But I saw the orange and I just, I don't know. I don't, like, who am I, right? I, I know. <laughs> who am I? But I absolutely, absolutely love this. All right, I also picked up a new pair of Hunter Rain Boots. I love Hunter Rain Boots. I've had a few of them over the years. And uh, currently I have the tall adjustable ones in the color black, but uh, I knew that I wanted to go for the Chelsea's in a different color. And I'm so happy that I decided to go for these. I also got these on Farfetch. And I wanna say I paid a little bit over a hundred bucks, but if you go onto the Hunter website, I believe that they're 140. So I was able to save some cash on there 
that as well. But anywho, I ended up going for the Chelsea's in the color yellow. I told you guys, I have a thing for yellow this year. I don't know what it is, but I think that these are so incredibly cute. They're so comfortable. I got them in the size uh, UK 7, 9 US, and they end up fitting me like a glove. I know that on the Hunter website, I believe it says on there to downsize either one or two sizes. But uh, for me, these do definitely end up running true to size. Uh, the biggest bummer is that when I, when I ordered these, like for the last, I don't know, maybe 10 days, it was kind of, uh, it was cloudy, it was cold, it wasn't raining, but it was drizzling every day. And I was like, okay, maybe this year will be the year that it's, you know, that it's cloudy, that it's raining, because that's definitely my jam when it comes to weather. Uh, and then after I got them, <laughs> it's been unseasonably warm, well, warmer for January. I want to say it's been like 70, 71, 67, I don't know, somewhere around there not raining, not cloudy, sunny. So I'm wondering if maybe I end up wearing my rain boots when it's not raining, maybe I will summon the rain. I, I don't know, but I'm hopeful that that'll end up happening. But these are so, so cute, I'm obsessed. I think they are so cute and I could not deny the yellow. I thought that they were perfect. Are you guys fans of Hunter Rain Boots? If you are, let me know on the comment section down below. All right, so let's move on to my other accessory. And this guy I have not opened up. I thought that we would unbox it together, but it actually came from Dior. And look at this packaging. I've said it before and I will say it again. Pat, I mean, Dior is like, is the ultimate when it comes to how to package their items. And I think next in line would be Gucci, wouldn't you say? But look at this. I don't even want to open it because it's so beautiful. Um, but it has this beautiful sturdy box. I think that this was for the, uh, for the holiday season. So the fact that I was still able to get the packaging made me super, super happy. Um, all right, oh, of course they have a knot. I told you guys, I'm not, pre <laughs> I'm not prepared today. I think this video is gonna be all over the mess, all over the mess, all over the place. Hang on, I'm having, maybe I slip this off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exactly the reason why I like to do deconstructed unboxings, because it's a lot easier. All right, so here it is. Or maybe I'm just out of practice when it comes to unboxings and it's my fault, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, it is absolutely beautiful. It's way better looking in person than it is online. I ended up going for the Dior, Dior Oblique Twin Silk Square Scarf. So you have the beautiful pink on one side and then you have the gray on the other. I am obsessed. This square scarf is 35 and a half inches by 35 and a half inches. So it is quite massive, but I love the color combination. And uh, I actually had it, in, I had it in my cart on the Dior website for, I wanna say maybe three weeks when it first launched. And I kept thinking about it. I was like, no, 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 I, I don't want it. I don't want it, but I still kept it in the basket. And then the day that I decided to go for it, it was sold out. I was like, no, I put myself on the, like the receive alert on their website. And I want to say it was probably a week later, I got the email saying the item is available for, uh, you know, to, to be purchased. And I just swooped on it. I jumped at the chance, but I think that this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that you have two different colors. You have this beautiful pink uh, it's not like a baby pink. Obviously, it has a little bit more of a mauve, as you guys can see online, or online, on camera. And then you have that gorgeous gray on the other side. But uh, I want to use this uh, on my head. I want to use it in my hair uh, because I've actually been thinking about cutting my hair. Um, last year, I cut my hair to my shoulders, and I'm definitely feeling that this year as well. I want to cut maybe seven or eight inches, and I thought that a, um, a scarf would look... I thought it would look amazing. I thought it would look really cute, um, but it is just absolutely beautiful. Here is the tag. It says Dior Oblique 412 Rose. And I will put that on the description box uh, below as well. Is it focusing? What is going on today? And then what does this say? It says Dior. We invite you to try this item at your convenience, taking care to retain its label. 
In case of return, please note that it can only be accepted in its original condition with the labels attached. With our sincere thanks, the House of Dior. Yeah, I will be ripping off that bad boy because I'm definitely keeping this. So it is 100% silk, 100% gorgeous. And I think that these two colors would look amazing for spring and summer, don't you think? Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I can't wait. So if I have this on my, you know, on my head with some of my hair sticking out and then I have my giant oversized Gucci glasses, I thought that that would look cute, right? I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm telling you, I said it before that this year feels different. It feels like I'm really, really excited about it. I don't know why, but I'm definitely, definitely feeling it. All right, moving on to cosmetics. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen these two. These are from the Dior uh, Limited Edition Collection, the Houndstooth Collection. I actually talked about this lipstick or this lip balm on one of my previous videos, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So uh, when I saw that the new Limited Edition cases were Houndstooth, I was obsessed. I am a sucker for Houndstooth. I don't know what it is. The black and white, I just think, looks amazing together. So you have uh, the matte black uh, down here, the C and the D, and then you also have C and the D at the very top. But I just thought it was wonderful. I ended up going for the balm for two different reasons. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but you have the hound's tooth and it says Dior on the balm as well. Uh, but look at that. It is just I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, this lip balm, I don't think is like super, super moisturizing, but it's not that bad either. And another reason why I decided to go for the balm is because I also have, um, some refillable tubes for Dior, and this is a refillable uh, lipstick, so I can just pop this off and put on the others, and then I have a variety of different colors with the Hound's Tooth case. So I thought that was wonderful, but absolutely beautiful, and like I said, they do have a variety to pick from, but if you already have some of the refills, then I just suggest going for maybe uh, one, either the bomb, and that way you can end up uh, swapping out the colors, but I thought that was beautiful. And I also ended up going for the Forever Perfect Cushion 24 Hour Wear High Perfection Skin Caring Fresh Foundation. That is a mouthful. Uh, but I ended up going for this in 1N. I have not opened it up. Unfortunately, this is not available on the Dior website, the lipstick is. Uh, this is not available on the Dior website. I did have to go through um, another, through a department store that's in the UK. And I will admit that the shipping, the shipping is steep, but it did get here in two days. So that was great. Look at that absolutely beautiful. Again, I could not deny Houndstooth, uh, but the Houndstooth is actually, uh, this part right here is a fabric. So I'm wondering that if I do end up using, um, if I end up using the foundation, I have not opened it up yet. If I end up opening up the foundation, if it gets on my fingertips or if I get any type of lipstick on my fingertips and this smudges, I think it will be really difficult to, uh, to remove. So that's one reason why I haven't really opened it up, but I thought it was gorgeous. I love these little, um, these little cases. And then you have the mirror there. And then here is the pad. It says Dior. You open it up. It says forever. And like I said, I have not opened it. And then you have the C and D there. And these are also refillable. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Last year, I did end up going for the black and the white. And uh, I ended up going for the 2N. At first, I thought that the, that the color ended up working out with my skin tone. And I just wanted to show you guys this color because this one I did use and I did open. Uh, and the 2N doesn't work out with my skin tone whatsoever. It has a little bit more pink and I have more olive in my skin tone. So it looked a little bit, um, <laughs> it didn't look the best on me, uh, which is definitely a bummer, but let me just swatch it so you guys can see. Oh, hang on, right there, right there. So it has a little bit, a little too much pink than what I'm used to. So that's why I decided to go for the 1N. It, ha it seems like it has a little bit more of an olivey, olivey or, <laughs> or a different tone to it. So that might end up working out for my skin tone. But as of right now, I just wanna use this as, uh, as a mirror. So I know, I know that seems like it's a little, it's a little much, right, for just a mirror, but come on, I could not deny the packaging. I thought it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Let me take this off because 
I do talk with my hands quite a bit and I have a feeling I'll get <laughs> I'll get the, the foundation all over the place. And I also picked up some Chanel Rouge Cocoa Balm lipsticks. I love their Cocoa Balm uh, formula, as you guys can tell by now. I'm a huge, huge fan of lip balms. Uh, that's definitely my jam. I prefer them over regular lipsticks just because I think with lip balms, especially the tinted ones, you get a little bit of color and it's still very, very moisturizing. So these are for their new cases um, and they are in white, the white with the gold. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful, right? Uh, so this one is in 914 in the color Natural Charm. So it does uh, it does have a little bit of a, uh, of a brown color to it. It looks a lot darker on here, but then once you swatch it, it's not too dark. I love, love, love this color. Absolutely gorgeous, but I'm just, I'm obsessed with, with the, with the case. I love the cases. And then I just ended up also getting the, the bomb, the regular bomb. There we go. And I think this is in dreamy white. Yeah. Dreamy, dreamy white nine, uh, nine, 12, but love that. I think I have maybe three or four Chanel lip balms, but they're all in different cases. But I feel like sometimes different cases give me different vibes. Like if I wanna go for white with gold, I feel a certain way. Or if I wanna go for black and gold, I feel a certain way. I don't know. I probably sound nuts saying that out loud, but let me know if you guys feel the same way. Uh, all right, and then the last thing that I want to share with you is the newest launch, their N1 uh, Red Camellia Revitalizing Lip and Cheek Balm. They had a variety of colors that came out, and uh, I actually went to Ulta, and Ulta now sells them online, which is awesome, and some of the Ulta stores also have the N1 collection uh, in stores, which I thought was awesome. But uh, at first I ended up getting Healthy Pink, and the Healthy Pink is a little bit more orange than I would have liked, so I ended up going for Vital Beige, and this color is definitely more me, but look at that packaging. It's just, I mean, it's very simple, but you have the CC up there, and after I'm done with this, uh, with this lip balm, I cannot wait to use this little, um, this little case for something, I don't know, for something else. But here is the Vital Beige color, and there it is. So it has a little bit of, uh, it has a hint of color, it's not too dark. And the fact that you can either use this on your cheeks or on your lips, I think is wonderful. Uh, and it does have a little bit of a, has a little bit of a floral, like a rosy, hint or a scent to it, not too, too bad, but there we go. I also ended up getting the N1 fragrance or the mist, uh, but I ended up returning it because after five minutes, it just completely wore off. Like I could not smell it to save my life. It even says on the website that you can either use it by itself or you can layer it with another fragrance. But either way, I tried it by itself and I tried it with another fragrance and I still could not smell it. So I thought for 110 bucks, yeah, no, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I need something that I can still end up smelling. And the scent for that spray has that, uh, that rose, that floral type of scent that the the cosmetics have. So I know some people might think that it's a little too, uh, it's a little too intense. I don't think it's too intense, but you can definitely end up uh, smelling the, the roses. You can end up smelling the floral coming through quite a bit, but then again, it ends up dying out. It just, you cannot smell it whatsoever after five minutes, at least not with my, with, not with my body chemistry. Like I couldn't, I couldn't at all. <laughs> I was super bummed out because I loved the, I love the bottle and I was really excited about uh, the, I was excited about the mist in general, but uh, sadly it didn't end up working out for me. All right, you guys, so that does it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information on these items, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection or to your makeup cases as well. Uh, and don't forget, I do have that 10% off coupon code for Farfetch uh, right here and I will also put it on the description box below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.